Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will go lecture number seven of mechanism material two. And in this lecture we will know about Mohr circle for plane stress. Mohr circle plane stress named after German engineer Otto Mohr. Uh, this procedure is very easy as compared to the previous derivation of uh, normal and shear stress transformations. So this is an easy and graphical procedure to apply equation for plane stress transformation. This approach allows us to realize how normal and shear component sigma x prime and tau x prime y prime vary as the plane on which they act changes its direction. So if theta is changed, there is no need to draw a uh, circle again and again. Just we will uh, draw theta again and get the result. But before that, we have to draw for the more circle. For that, we will write equation 9.1 and 9.2 that we have co uh, covered in lecture 2 and lecture 3 respectively. This is equation 9.1. Sigma x prime is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into cos 2 theta plus tau x y into sin 2 theta. After rearranging, what we are doing, we are making this term at the left side and uh, the rest of the equation means same. So after rearranging, and taking 9.2 as it is sigma x prime y prime is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y equal to into sine 2 theta plus tau x prime 2 cos 2 theta. If you look at these equations, this rearranged equation and this 9.2, you will find out that at right side, involvement of theta is there. You can see. So to eliminate theta from rearranged equation 9.1 and equation 9.2, we will square these equations we will square this equation, then this equation, and add them up together. We will get this result that is sigma x prime minus sigma x plus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau x prime y, y prime square is equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau x y square. And if we compare this equation, from standard form of equation of circle having center hk and the, uh, that equation is h minus x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square where h and k are coordinate of center and r square is the square of the radius so from here this will be r square so r will be sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau x y square and taking square root of whole whereas center center coordinate of center from the equation from this equation will be this h that is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 and this is k that is 0 because there is no term here we can write this equation in compact form as sigma x prime minus sigma, sigma average because this is equal to sigma average whole square plus tau x prime y prime whole square is equal to r square where sigma average is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2. So we can say coordinate r c is equal to sigma average comma 0. And we should remember that sigma x sigma y and tau x y are known constant from the element. So these will be given or known data. How will we we'll draw establish coordinate axis as we should establish a coordinate system and we will establish coordinate system for this uh, more circle as this axis right side will be positive sigma x axis. But as long as tau is concerned, the this downward axis will show tau axis. So tau downward will be taken as positive. Plotting gives, if you plot here, C is here and B point A. We know sigma x, you know, tau x, y is known from element. Uh, we will discuss this later and uh, step wise we will cover the procedure. So uh, a circle can be drawn. Each point on the mouse circle represented two stress component at each point this point this point this point this point at every point on the perimeter uh, on the circumference of the circle will give us the state of stress component sigma x prime and tau x prime y prime oriented at two theta 
from the fence axis here cp line this is line this line will be called as a fence uh, we will discuss later on more circle or theta from x axis on the element so true theta will be on mohor and simple theta will be on the element so now the, now it is important and it is very easy and that is procedure for drawing mohor circle at step number one first of all we draw the element with x y coordinate and angle for arbitrary orientation theta so this is the element given and here sigma x sigma y and x y we know and theta is given to us at this orientation at this inclined plane we have to determine the state of stress for that we know the theta and we have taken this as uh, x as positive and this y as positive so this is step number one Coming towards step number two, establish a coordinate system for more circle. For more circle, this axis is taken as sigma axis positive and downward tau axis taken as positive. Step number three, plot center and uh, that is sigma x plus sigma y by two comma zero. So we know all this. We can determine the and see on the coordinate system developed in this step two. This coordinate system we have developed and we will draw the uh, plot the point at this point C because we know these values of these so c is determined at horizontal axis tau is zero so that's why c c is at this line because it uh, second coordinate should be zero that is given here at step four plot reference point a we we are plotting at this point this this hole is taken as the at graph or some uh, paper according to scale and we will draw a point here like here and the uh, value of this is also known from element and a coordinate are of a are sigma x and tau xy on the co coordinate system we are doing this table so we will draw here after that we will we have this point we have this point at st step 5 we will join point c with point a so now this is c a is can be considered as radius at step 6, place one end of the compass. We should take a compass, and its one end should be take, uh, should be at center C, other end should be at point A, and making a radius as CA, we will draw the circle. So, circle is drawn here. If you have the radius and the center, you can draw easily. This line will be the reference, CA line will be reference line. So, because this is known. This line is known uh, uh, between two known points C and A. That's why it will be taken as reference. So at step seven, taking C as a reference line and using protector, draw a line CQ. Actually, we will place a protector or D at this point, and we will take a point at angle two theta. And when we will join that point with the center it will obviously intersect at uh, its circle will obviously intersect at point q and now the coordinate uh, by graph or by scale we determine and we can easily determine the coordinate of this q that are sigma x prime and tau x prime y prime so these these and now these coordinate are known so this is the way how to find the uh, stress transformation at arbitrary orientation theta on element or two theta on the more circle so remember on more circle we will draw uh, double of the angle but on element like this element we will just draw angle theta so on element single theta and on more circle double of angle will be drawn this is the procedure and at step 8 extend the line cq such that it intersects the circle from the other side so if we if we extend this line beyond this so it will intersect and why we are doing the uh, because we have to determine sigma y prime so now sigma y prime is known to us the, the value of this will be same as this magnitude of tau x prime y prime will be same at the both but sigma x prime and uh, sigma y prime will be different as you know this is this is the this is the value for sigma x prime and this is the value for sigma y prime so obviously this is greater and this is less so these are different values anyhow 
at step 9 show all the transformed stress sigma x prime sigma y prime and tau x prime y prime on the element shown so at the last step you should draw this element is it very important because uh, we are interested in finding the plane of uh, maximum normal stress and plane of maximum shear stress uh, so we will draw for that but here we will also draw because now uh, so, uh, this element has been put projected at angle theta so new axis will be x prime and y prime respectively respectively uh, sigma x prime and sigma y prime will be shown here and uh, if we want to uh, determine the principal stresses do same up to step number 6 and circle will intersect and circle P will intersect the sigma axis at point B and D set the sigma, sigma axis at point B and D. So if you look at this horizontal axis, at this horizontal axis, this point is B. Circle is intersecting at this point and this point. So this point will be sigma 1, comma 0, and this will be sigma 2, comma 0. And remember, uh, we have already uh, established that the plane at which this stress is act the, uh, there will be no shear so here the value of shear is zero fine so this will be sigma 1 and sigma 2 and angles between reference axis c a and this axis c b will be 2 theta p1 and angle between the reference axis c a and c d this one this will be 2 theta p2 and hence principal planes will lie at 2 theta p1 and 2 theta p2 on more circle and principal plane will lie at single theta p1 and single p theta p2 on the element as shown so this is theta p1 and theta p2 and last very easy maximum shear stress uh, we will do the same uh, uh, up to step number 9 and circle will, will intersect the tau axis now it will this is circle will intersect the tau axis are point P e and F E and F these uh, tau coordinates will be the maximum minimum shear stress tau max and tau mean and corresponding angle will be 2 theta s1 and 2 theta s2 respectively on Mohr circle double of angle on Mohr circle so uh, we, we are making here because tau downward is taken as positive and theta s1 and theta s2 are the orientation plane of maximum and minimum shear stress on the element so on element so it is a drawn here see my average so angle between x and x prime is theta s1 and angle between x and y prime is theta s2 so this is all from my side thank you very much